How's it going everyone? Welcome back to episode 6 of Yapping. Now today, I kind of want to ch make some changes to this house here. Uh, for Ross, I think it's a bit too repetitive. Um, not enough variety going on with the bushes here. So, that might be first goal of action. Um, Actually, now, first goal of action is going to be asking how you guys' day is going. So go ahead, drop a comment below. I'll read each and every one of them. And second goal of action, aside from doing that, is getting myself some food. Because I had a skirmish with the zombie while off camera. And it, it as you can see, almost killed me. So we're going to have to get some pork chops. My day has been pretty good today. Uh, woke up, published part 5, and played some games with my friends. Played a good bit of Osu. And took a little nap. Now we are here. So, I need to go cook this pork really badly. I do not want to die. I'm also going to bring my bed back because I don't need it here at the Love Garden. It looks really ugly and out of place at the Love Garden. It's supposed to be a magical place. The Love Garden is a magical place. And we do not need my smelly bed here. Is this guy going to try and damage me? I'm going to walk on the other side of the fence just in case. He doesn't seem aggroed, but I'm not risking it. I think I have the music off because I turn it off during the making of the cinematics because I don't know it's just something I do sometimes I use the game audio and I use the music disc audio for the music of the intros and when the game audio is on I don't want the music uh, turning on and overlapping while I have the music disc playing so yeah that's that's why I do that all right, it's uh, it's quite nice to be back up to full health. I'm gonna these these are just not even worth having on, in all honesty. So maybe, maybe, no, nah, I'm definitely gonna fix up that house. I don't need no armor. I think I can make some leather armor, and I I still have my original leather boots. But you know we're rocking in the free world with uh some some leather tunics. Oh. 
I got my skin working. So, um, all I had to do was really change the character texture. I was trying to, like, find mods and whatnot that would connect to, like, Mojang servers, and I guess it would fix it for multiplayer. But all I had to do was change the, uh, char file. And now it works. So we have the, uh, classic Xbox 360 tuxedo ski... Tuxedo Steve, excuse me. This is the skin I normally run, even way back when on Xbox 360, because Tuxedo Steve's just a goat. He's just, he's just the G, man. Where were all these guys when I was looking for pink wool? I mean, I still have some left over, but that's aside the point. Yeah, so, um, if you haven't seen the episode where I made this, it is episode 5, and it is for Ross because Ross is amazing and was also the first person not the first person but the person to suggest the idea of building houses for people so I'm going to touch up a little bit on this house here and I want to get started on this path down here to up here and maybe on the second house which is for Vitaminus in the discord because Vitaminus was the first person that was not a friend of mine to join the discord and was also one of the first people to submit their name for the house to be built. So, thank you Ross and Vitaminus for your support of the channel. Hopefully I can get around to Vitaminus' house in this video. If not, it definitely will be done in the next video. So, one thing I wanted to do is tear out these bushes here. Get some, get some trap doors in here. And I wanted to put some extruding, put some extruding bushes or trees, if you will. I'm also going to tear this down and do the original three chair idea. So one, two, three. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that. I don't, I didn't even put my bed back. That's funny, but I'm going to have to fix this. I don't know what I what what I changed to uh have that fence there. This is quite chill. Was this how it was? Or was it right here and right here? It might have been right there and right there. You can do that. Whichever one is uh more cozy. I also want to focus on a little bit more parody from the um cutscenes. So I'm probably gonna fix up the campground there, the campfire with stone stairs and um put some netherrack in for the uh the coals so we can actually have some some fires going that's weird that the uh the fence prevents me from crafting but wait i need to use a pickaxe did that just give me five it did give me five that's kind of sick all right i'm gonna go on a whim and say there is enough lighting in this house, but just in case, I'll put one more. Yeah, why not? Alright. Let's knock this out. Where are my trap doors? Did I throw them? Are we gonna have another incident like the diamonds? Where they just disappeared? Because I pretty sure I just broke these and I just got trap doors oh I placed them <laughs> okay we're gonna need some more trap doors it's the uh, the biggest what's the word I'm looking for it's the biggest expense in this world of wood is trap doors because I can't build all I do is trap door spam I mean, that's not true. I consider myself quite a good builder. It's just funny to make fun of trapdoor spam. And then I'm going to borrow Ross's bed once again, because it's close. Even though I have my bed in my inventory, which I just remembered. But I don't think Ross will mind. Let's go ahead and get this chair in. Nice. Let's see if I can... Oh. Does that look funny being just... 
one piece of fence. I think it does. I'm gonna extrude this and hopefully that'll hopefully that'll help uh with the appearance appearance. Let's see. Oh, I can't jump and place fence under me. Can't do that in any version of Minecraft. I don't know why I tried. Let's go ahead and extrude this wood. And oh yeah, I already, I can already tell this is gonna be a lot better. All right, pressure plate there. Nice, this feels a lot more cozy. Maybe, yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome, sweet. Is there anything else up here I wanna change? I don't think so. I do wanna change this, though. Kind of like on the other side of that house, I have the uh, area with the chest and furnace. I want to do something similar here. Hmm. Let's get some chests. I think I should take this one from here because, in all honesty, it's feeling a little congested in here. I'm gonna separate or spread out these seats a little more. Let's uh, see how this looks, and then should be able to put signs on them. Sweet. Okay. It's kind of cozy in here. Do I want to move this bed? No, I don't want that in the corner. Um, damn. Guess we can keep it there for now. What does this look like? Not good. <laughs> or should I find a way to... It's going to be a little... Upstairs, I think. I think we're going to do a little upstairs. Hmm. Can I use pink wool to make a painting? I want to put a painting there. Also... Thank you guys for the support on the 700 subscriber video. I believe it's the 700 subscriber video. It has about as much views as the first video, which is nearing 700, and that's kind of crazy. So that means that means the world to me. Thank you also for all the uh, the nice comments, of course, as as per usual. I am very grateful. Oh man. Wait, is there a 3 by 2 painting? There has to be. Has this one always been... 4 by 2 Or am I losing my mind? <laughs> I guess, I guess we'll just... If we get a... 2 by one we'll take it. Okay, that works. Torch, torch. Yeah. And let's get some ladders. Also, I say this most episodes, and I'm going to keep saying it. Leave anything you want to see me build in the comments. I love taking suggestions from you guys, because you guys are very creative. And yeah, hopefully we see some, uh, some good things. Let's put that there. Maybe get a little bit of this action going. Get a chest here. This feels kind of cramped, but we're making the most with the space we got. Oh, 
I love paintings. Get another painting here. Come on. Let's get it. Come on. Nice. What's over here? Can I make a window here? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Definitely gonna have a window here. Do I have glass on me? I don't. That is unfortunate. Did I already turn- yeah, I already turned the music up. I was just kind of confused, because normally music swells up by now and kicks in and does its thing. I will put glass here. Ouch. I don't really want to spend too much more time on this, but I feel like it's worth it, because it is a nice house. I wonder what I can yap about today. This whole series is about me running my mouth, and it seems like I don't even run my mouth much. Well, in the past two episodes at least, I don't know. Get some glass, we're gonna go over there and fill in that window. I really think this glowstone Mm, I don't think it's too abundant. I think it, I think I thought it was too abundant and I was just going with the flow and like trolling and saying it wasn't, but I think it grew, it grew on me. I really don't think it's, I think it's too little actually. No, that's a joke, but I think the amount that we're at is fine. Nice, dude. Perfect. I'm trying to make this cozy, because it is, admittedly, a small house. But it is a cozy house. And you have to admit that. Should I expand this over here? Yeah, why not? So his, uh, his bed is not right by the window, and weirdos can't just look in. You know what? We'll, 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 we'll give you a double bed. I think you deserve it. Do I want this side, uh, this here? Yeah, that'll be there. No, that's too obstructing. All right, this isn't so bad. Yeah, cool. Now we need to work outside. I need to make chests. Purely cosmetic chests. You guys know what I forgot again? I forgot to get water. I forgot to get a glass of water and put it by my desk. <laughs> I, I normally like... Oh, please. Please. I have an idea. Oh, I can't open it if it's on top. Oh, no. Okay. This will have to... This will have to do. You gotta put something in the middle, because you can't put chests next to each other. So, we have to... What should I put here? Maybe a, uh, a crafting table. And a, uh, a furnace, of course. The, uh, the, the staple... I need cobblestone. 
Oh, man. And I need to sleep. So, uh, once again, borrowing Ross's bed. Let's get back to work. Cobblestone. There it is. I don't know why, but I get a lot of anxiety when uploading videos, and it's it's kind of always been that way, even like when I used to upload and stream years ago. It's not so much that like I don't think the sh like the video is gonna do well. Like I'm I'm worried about the numbers or how many likes or comments it's gonna get. It feels like I worry. Like, have you ever seen a risk sent a risky text message? And you, like, throw your phone so you don't immediately see when that person responds. Or, like, when that person sees the message. It's kind of that feeling. I don't know why. Hmm. I think I want to have the... I want some grass in here, but... It honestly kind of fits without grass because this is supposed to be like a paved area. I don't know. Maybe I should take some time to get some bricks. 
This will be work in progress. That's all I can really say. I need more gravel, though. I spent most of my gravel on this path here. Which I did in the Love Garden episode. Like, I recorded it and all, but I accidentally cut it out. Because <laughs> it was like two hours of footage put into 16 minutes. And I guess that clip was so, like, minuscule. Minuscule, I just kind of accidentally passed over it. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Where? I don't have any. Alright. <laughs> Back to the mines. That's what, uh, what children in the 1800s would say. Making pennies a day. Now, uh, now, now with Minecraft and all these games about resource collection, the children yearn for the mines more than ever. That's nowhere near enough gravel. Hey, I think this might be enough gravel here. Here another cave. Or that might be a, the same cave from another time before when I hear water going up and down here. This might be almost enough, but I want to be safe and gather a surplus. Because I like just building. Oh, cave. Sweet. And iron. Sweeter. Oh, and a creeper. No more creeper. Alright, I'm going to light this place up. Have some more iron to my name, which is always an absolutely fantastic thing. Your boy is very broke. I'm not even running iron armor right now. And my iron pick is about to break. Oh. I hear slime. Oh. No slime ball for me. Tragic. It's okay. We're in a pretty deep cave here. I don't have my water bucket on me. And my pick is about to break. Awesome predicament. I turned the gamma down on my monitor so the game is a lot darker. And it's made it like 10 times scarier. Jeez. I could barely see that spider there. I need to come back to this cave with a um, proper proper gear. A lot of gravel though. This is a, a nice thing. If it would stop giving me so much flint. Oh my god. That's 17. Lapis lazuli. How do you guys pronounce it? I hear I hear it pronounced like two different ways, which is lapis lazuli, lapis lazui, lapis lazui. I don't know. Lapis lapui. I'm sure none of those are actually the correct way, especially the last one. But um, I don't know. I've never went out of my uh, way to understand how to pronounce the word lapis. Especially lazuli. Lazuli, lazuli. I don't know. I reached out to a, a smaller creator. I'm not going to mention them because I don't know if they want to be mentioned. But just uh, trying to collab. And hopefully we hear back from them. That would be kind of cool. I don't know. Don't care about that iron pick. Hopefully hear back from them. That'd be kind of cool. They do pretty similar content to me. Including things like cutscenes and... Uh, well, not cutscenes, but like B-roll and... They don't do really much skits from what I've seen. That's kind of the thing I do. But, uh... They also make beta Minecraft YouTube, YouTube videos. And 
seems like a very chill guy. So hopefully we hear back from him. It'd be cool to get some collabs going. Find some potential SMP members. How did I get to that cave? Dude, I'm losing it. <laughs> Who's up here? It's a lot of iron we almost missed down on. Yeah. I really need this iron too. This is huge. What uh what what song have you guys been listening today? Listening to today? I always ask about songs, but it's it's a reliable question. And if you're anything like me, your daily song probably switches quite a bit. Nice. No fall damage. Oh my goodness, I thought that was on the same level as me. About to come, uh... Come burn me alive. Where's all that iron we saw? There's some. How much do we have, actually? 34. Huge. Absolutely huge. It's down here. Lava. Redstone. Could be diamonds under this lava. Let's uh, take a gamble. Absolutely not. <laughs> I see more iron. Nice. Awesome. Let's see if we can get a stack. This probably be the richest we've been in terms of iron. Not really diamonds, because for some reason the game just decided, hey, these are going to disappear. Or maybe I did use them all. And I'm... I don't know. I doubt it. It's kind of hard to use 13, 13 diamonds when you're trying not to use your diamonds. I say as I have full diamond uh, tools. However, some of that's from the second vein we found. So, um, take that gamer. Where did we go up? Or where did we, where did we drop from? Is it right here? It was right here, wasn't it? Yeah. Or more iron up here that I'm forgetting. We're at 51. I don't not really a stack, but that's fine. Oh, I guess I should uh flash some nice comments on the screen. And if you didn't make the love garden, I apologize. I would like to add a few more rules to the love garden. The love garden's not gonna be for like people I'm actively friends with, because like I'm already friends with you. I hope that makes sense. And the love garden is going to be for... I, I said this in the other video. Yeah, the, the, the just one... The one I wanted to add is... It's not going to be for friends. Because I'm already friends with you. And they get a good role in the Discord server. So... Yeah. But uh, let's, let's put some of the nice comments on the screen. This includes friends and people that are new to the channel and just anyone so thank you for all these comments they're extremely appreciated are these guys aggro to me this guy is this guy is chilling but uh i don't like spiders so he has to go oh yeah thank you for all the nice comments everyone and thank you for your continued support what did I? Oh my goodness, I forgot everything I needed to go work on this house. I need to get the gravel, I need to get the cobblestone, I need to smell my iron. That's not really needed, but I need it smelted for future purposes, just to give back my nice shiny armor. Gravel, cobble, gravel, smelt. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's get on the let's get on the road back to back to. I need to name this village something. Oh, it's it's members village. Uh, member village kind of sucks. 
it, I got that name because like Discord members, but um, that name kind of sucks. Take I'm take taking a uh, I'll take a uh, village name suggestions. Go ahead, uh, give me some. I am blanking right now. I have nothing good, and I feel like it's only right for you guys to name it too. So. Go ahead, clear all this dirt. I'm gonna get started on this path. Cause that's what I needed. All the um all the cobble and gravel for. I do wanna make it stairs though. I do want stairs. I need to get bone meal because I wanna plant grass all around my lands. It's looking a little barren along this stretch here and down here. Oh, that's another thing I want to do. I want to put some tree, like trees and bushes down there too. So there's something to look at. There's something to look at if you're standing up here on this balcony, which is my obviously beautiful house. And if you're looking back, there's also something to look at. Aside from just the house, there's some foliage there. and It'll look pretty nice, I hope. Just uh, go with the flow now, see where this gets us. No. Oh, that should be stairs, and then over here. Okay, I'm gonna get my stairs so I know what I'm doing. Alright, hopefully that's enough. And this is your episode Lee stretch check these episodes are long get up and stretch I've if, if you're not sleeping because people say they uh, use these videos to fall asleep too which you know that's cool I appreciate that I'm glad you find my voice relaxing because I'm not a big fan of my voice I used to I used to think it was really like unlistenable but honestly I, I don't think it's that bad anymore but um, I still think it's kind of annoying. But yeah, if you're if you're sleeping right now, you can stay and snooze because you probably need the rest. But um, if you're sitting here at your desk watching this or playing a game, get up and stretch. You need that. Get up, get up and stretch. This is mandatory. It's not optional. Get up and stretch. Piggy scared me, man. Cool. All right. I think I can make. I think I can stretch twelve cobble. Awesome. All right. Path done. Well, not yet. I need to bring this down and connect it with over here. Yeah. I think I'm going to make a little roundabout.
Need to come back and get some more cobble. It's looking a little funny with, uh, with none of it in here. I also want to make some changes to the love garden. I don't know if I mentioned that already or not. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. But yeah, I don't know if I like these pink blocks. Oh, shout out these guys, by the way. I don't know if I like these pink blocks being the things to hold up the signs. I kind of want to make it something classy like a, a log. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas on what to use, let me know. I'm very open. I think I'm going to switch them out to logs. But for now, they are pink blocks, which doesn't look very good. I will die on that hill. this out over here oh, I'm about to break a diamond shovel that's gonna be painful I need to make a spot for this third house and I think I also need more gravel as well as cobblestone so that's that's very fun. Hmm. Yeah, this uh, these pink blocks have to go, and I need to grass this area. Maybe I'll throw some trees in for placeholder. Oh, there's a lot to do. I also need to get glowstone and the torch spam this area. Also. We have Wilson, but the second dog hasn't even been named yet. We need to name the second dog, guys. Let me know. Let me know, okay? I just realized. <laughs> hmm. Let me take that away. Yeah, I'm lazy. I don't like to jump.
man, what is this cobblestone here? Is this a spawner? This is probably some cobblestone I placed and did not realize. Wait. No, it's not no spawner. The, uh, the screen was so dark. Because, again, I mentioned I turned my gamma down. The screen was so dark, everything looked like cobblestone. So I saw that cobblestone, and I'm like, oh, wait. But we do have a lot of gravel. Which is quite nice. Quite nice. Yeah, I think that's enough, co uh, not cobble, gravel for now. Let's go ahead, um, get some cobble, not gravel. Alright, I should, uh, work on my basement. kind of funny how it was so many years ago that we would play beta minecraft minecraft pocket light xbox 360 edition you know a lot of the things gen z can relate to i was i was watching a pretty good video documentary well not really even a, a video documentary but it was a topic on all the things Gen Z kids will relate to. And man, some of that shit hit home. Things like like Temple Run, Dumb Ways to Die, all these old apps. One of them that really stuck with me was like Angry Birds Star Wars. The the creator brought up Angry Birds Star Wars. And even though I'm not a really big Star Wars fan myself, I just thought that game was so cool because it was a spin on Angry Birds and it had like different, it, it was different than Angry Birds while still being Angry Birds. It had a, a lot of different things. And uh, another thing that was mentioned was the, uh, the game Bad Pickies where you can build like these crafts for, what was it? The game's blanking on me. I think I, f I think you built these, like, automobiles and crafts and stuff for piggies to help steal eggs. I believe that was the premise of the game. It's been so long. And another game that was mentioned was, like, Where's My Water? Which is... <laughs> that game was so cool. That, that was one of the games that, like, fascinated me as a child. And one thing that really scares me about not just growing up but like growing up is that these memories will never be relived and there's kind of a beauty in that as well because they're valuable since they don't happen very often they don't happen again and that's why they're valuable it's kind of like smile because it happened not because it's uh, smile because it happened Something how the saying was like, "Don't cry that it's over, smile that it happened." Yeah, that that's the saying. This basement's getting kind of big. <laughs> um, but I'm just one thing that bothers me is I'm so fearful for Gen Alpha and the generations after them, and how they're growing up with so much short form content being shoveled into them and so much stacked against them free speech is dying more and more every day oh the voice crack is crazy free speech is dying more and more every day i feel like and censorship and tiktok is genuinely i feel like rolling the youth and i don't know not to go on like a boomer anti-technology rant but i'm just kind of fearful one of the another one of the reasons why I'm making this series is because it's long form content for hopefully anyone to enjoy and consume, even though myself being eighteen years of age, there is gonna be an appeal to other 
people around that age range. I hope that there is a few younger people that watch this and... Well, anyone, not just younger people, anyone that struggles with attention span. I feel like it's mostly young people because they're so preyed upon since they're not matured and it's easy to, I guess, in a sense, manipulate that fact. And any, any, or anyone really that struggles with an attention span problem, I myself really used to, and I still do, but I feel like it's gotten better. Not perfect, but better. Since, I mean, I deleted TikTok, I deleted social media, all of these, all of these things that contribute to a short attention span, information overload, well, not even information overload, like, some of the stuff these apps feed people is just pure garbage in the, the best way possible. No, not wording it in the best way possible, not the best way possible, but... Nighttime again. So many spiders, man. Even one at my window. I don't know. I'm really fearful for the younger generation under us because even we are struggling with it. And if we're struggling with it, the people that are gonna be fully growing up with it are gonna be struggling with it even more. Dude, come on man. Let me let me have my moment. Uh, I think we have everything we need. Oh my god. Dude, come on, man. That scared me. So many monsters. Clearly this compound is not mob-proof. I think they're spawning on those blocks up there. But, um, I couldn't be fussed to fix it right now. Do I have any more pork? I do not. That's okay. We, uh, do not only live once, so I'm going to capitalize on that and gamble with the fact that I could die because I can always just collect my items again. I see you, buddy. I see you, buddy. You're not slick, pal. I don't want you sneaking up with me, so I'm going to deal with you now. Yeah, I like this. This is cool. I think this is better than what I originally had going. I don't want to get rid of all the grass. I feel like I'm kind of guilty of that. Definitely kind of guilty of that. Dog. So many dogs, dude. Holy. Alright, guys. We have a mission. And I don't know if we have enough bones for this mission. But, uh, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Oh, I hope they don't despawn. For the longest time, um, when I was little, I mentioned how I thought feathers looked like swords. And during that same era, I remember a splash text on, or like a game hint while loading into a 360 world. I swear it said, I guess I, I guess I do have more uh, pork chop, but I swear it said wolves can't enter the nether. And my mind interpreted that as like, w wolves can't enter the nearer area. So whenever a wolf would come, like, near my house, I was super confused. Which, I mean, I was like five, give me a break, but... <laughs> I don't know how I came to that conclusion in my mind. It's kind of funny how that works. Kids are, uh, kids are hilarious. 
my uh my friend talks about his little brother uh being two and how he's obsessed with horror movies and dinosaurs at two and that's kind of funny to me because i don't know he's he's a two-year-old and he likes horror movies and dinosaurs kid's gonna have a, a fire ass music taste when he grows up because uh i mean his, his his older brother my friend already has a really good music taste it's it's one of the best music tastes of the people i know all right guys we only have two bones so let's see if we can get two dogs oh man i think they despawned i will never recover there was so many. Damn, man. Ah. I love that the music kicked in during a sad moment. It's kind of funny because my older brother, who always let me play Minecraft on his Xbox, would never have the music enabled because he always thought it was too sad. And I never really got that from the music. I never really got that from the music. I always thought it was adventurous in a way. I don't really know how to put it, but the Minecraft sound like Minecraft soundtrack sounds like discovering to me. It sounds like discovery. It's the soundtrack of discovery, discovering new things, new places. It's just so fitting for this game. It sounds like wonder. Mm. 
C418 is truly a genius. Truly a master at his craft. Haha, <laughs> Minecraft craft. But, yeah, man. I am losing my fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that, man. Why not? I think I want to make the second house up here. I might remove these in all honesty because I feel like they are a bit obsessive. I'll keep the ones on the inside. We'll see what we think about that. Yeah, just for, uh, I feel like they're a bit obsessive. I don't know why. I don't think it really, it doesn't really fit the vibe. That's, that's the best way I can put it. It does not fit the vibe. I can keep it probably on, uh, this one since it's where the chest is. But overall, yeah, not not a vibe fitter. Let's see if we put a chest there. Yeah, that's cute. And another one there. Cool. Okay. This house is nearing completion more and more. I'm going to get started on Vitaminus's house too, because he deserves it. So we should probably clear out that area up there for future construction well construction that's beginning now where should i make the path though probably have it from up here and right here do i want the house i'm gonna make the house here we'll just clear out um what we feel These mountains might have to go just for more space in the future. Because uh, we do have quite a few houses to build. I'm not going to lie, it will be taking up quite a few of the next episodes. And I don't think I will be doing um, the subscriber village for very more, very many more milestones. I think the next one's going to be at a thousand, a thousand subscribers. And I'm probably not going to run it for very long because it's a very time consuming thing. Not to say I'm not going to do it, but. Gotta be realistic here. Yeah, these might these mountains might have to go. I'll tear down hmm. Which one looks smaller? This one definitely looks smaller. I guess this will be the first uh, kind of massive project here. This shouldn't take too long. It's not really a massive project. But um, depending how long it takes, it might be the end of the episode. I doubt it. I want to at least get a foundation set. So let's uh, hurry up and get through this mountain. We got some pretty fresh diamond tools, so it should be no problem.
Man, I remember when, uh, when creative mode was added to the Xbox. <laughs> my, uh, my, my brother spent all this time digging me out a, um, a big cube in the world for no reason. It was like, it was like a big chunk out of a mountain. He spent all this time in survival clearing it out and then I just switched the game to creative and blew all of it up. It was a nice uniform cube. I just switched the game to creative and blew all of it up for no reason. And he was kind of, he was kind of salty about it, but that's understandable. I tried, whenever I'm like with him now, I try to get him to boot up the old worlds and unfortunately my world is not there but i mean his worlds are which is <laughs> kind of funny but no hard feelings definitely not my childhood no hard feelings it's his xbox he can do what he wants with it I will add that at some point in the future, whenever needed, I do intend on venting to uh, these videos sometimes. So, I mean, if that ever happens, I will be putting appropriate trigger warnings and skipping markings. So, worry not. These are meant to be a form of long-form content on top of, like, video journaling for myself. So, I feel it's only fair to you guys since I'm making it content for you guys, but it's also for myself. It's only fair to let you guys know what I intend on doing in the future. Yeah, this house is almost... Or this, not this house, this mountain's almost gone. Already. Kind of sad. I kind of want to, well, I, I, I want to do a different design from that house there. Like a, a pretty different design, but keeping it relatively in the same style. Do you guys have a favorite Minecraft song from the soundtrack? Like, uh, Chirp, Cat, Dog, any of the music discs, any of the, um, uh, any of the uh, OST songs that come on when you're just mining, Area Math, um, Venus, or Mice on Venus, any of those there. I think my favorite, my favorite stall from the music discs and definitely, definitely Area Math from the OSTs. There's just, for me it's stall, the bass is my favorite part, the bass and the flute since those are both instruments I've played. And for Area Math, I don't know, um, little story time trigger warning drug use at this place me and my friend used to go uh trip at take uh some mushrooms we always would find this tree and we would listen to area math there while tripping and we dubbed it the area math tree 
and that tree just had some kind of energy about it ever since. I wonder where the cat is. I have not seen Eve in a couple hours, and normally that's never a good thing. She, she's either up to tr up to no good, up to some trouble, or she's spending the night with the grandparents, which is my mom and dad, and that's my child, so her grandparents. She's probably doing that. Which is okay. I definitely don't feel betrayed or anything. But, uh, it's okay. I have my dogs over there. My, my virtual dogs. This mountain kind of went faster than I expected, and I'm very grateful for that because I still have time to, uh, get started on Mr. Vitaminus's house. told my friends I was meet, gonna meet up to skate with them but uh I'm sitting here filming this <laughs> so I just had to text one of them back because they texted me 43 minutes ago and I didn't see it because I have my phone muted for these um <laughs> I'm probably gonna go do it then after this I haven't seen those guys in a while so it'll be fun
What are some of you guys' hobbies? I don't think I've asked that yet. I personally, I really like skateboarding and content creation, which is kind of obvious. Um, programming, game development, I like to do a lot of stuff in Godot, which is a free open source game engine. And it's, it's quite good. It's quite good. Um, I am not a Unity refugee. I didn't come from Unity because Unity, if you don't know, is a game engine that's very popular. They've powered many, 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 many games. And they added a fee to their engine that makes it so per, I guess, I think it's, I don't know how many installs it is, but per X amount of installs, you have to pay a f install fee. And that just made a bunch of developers quit Unity and move to Godot. And I was using Godot before that oopsie. So, I, I'm, I'm one of the OGs, I'm kind of cool, you know. It was funny seeing an influx of Unity developers move in and watch I learned how to use Godot in 24 hour videos. And, <laughs> I don't know. It's funny how, uh, it's like, it's like, it's funny how, how like, a lot of, like, things are comparable to past trends even so far back, like, one thing that really comes to mind is like the gold rush of the 1800s, and I, that's funny. I, I mentioned gold rush earlier, and or not gold rush. I mentioned mentioned the 1800s earlier in the video, but um, one thing that comes to mind is the gold rush of the 1800s and how everyone was just following uh, everyone to the west for gold, and a lot of modern trends remind me of that very predicament where. Everyone follows the trendsetter, and then the gold runs dry, and it's milked to oblivion, and there's no more money to be made off of it. All these items need to despawn, like, right away. There's too many on my screen, but at least the mountain is gone. Unfortunately, I think the uh, the house will take two videos to make. But I at least want to get a frame down. I might try a more organic shape than just a box. If I'm being honest with you. All this cobblestone can wait. I'm only gonna make half of it grass. Or maybe even less than half. Just enough to build the house itself. I think I should save a lot of this cobblestone for future projects. Let's go ahead and unload all of this into here. See how quickly my inventory fills up? Hold on. What a satisfying sound. I, uh, funny story, I tried to install the old sounds for Minecraft beta, but the, the sound pack I installed, because you need to delete, like, the resources folder in the, the old installation and replace it with one. The installation of, re um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the sounds I used fully had, like, <laughs> sounds that were not in the game. And I booted it up, and I hear, like, a chime, and I'm like, what was that? And it was, like, really, really loud, and I thought I was losing it, so I just continued playing in the uh, cinematic world, making the cinematic, and when I finished the intro for this video, I closed it, and then I opened this world to actually play, 
and it like made this the most horrifying noise ever and it scared the shit out of me and i was like all right this uh whoever made this the guy that i downloaded this from is fully trolling so uh i just deleted it off of my pc right there then and there i don't know what i'm gonna do for this shape Hopefully we can make something with this work. Oh, it somehow just turned out to be a uh, slightly messier cube. All right, I, I'm I'm not gonna do uh, any of this organic stuff. I need to play around in a in another world because I haven't done any stuff like that in so long. I like to mention that before making this series, I hadn't legitimately sat and played through Minecraft in like a year or two. So. A lot of my building knowledge is, uh, or has, has left me. I'm gonna build in segments of three again because I'm creative. I want the houses to relatively be the same size. Maybe, uh, have this come off by a block. one block cubby I wonder how I will make this work I'm sure uh, this can just be the door yeah that works we need to go uh borrow Ras's bed again Let's go get back to work on this house. Oh yeah, this is gonna look lovely. And then knock this down, get another house here. Probably fit a, three, a few more houses along this stretch. That'd be cool. I just got texted again. Fuck, I feel so bad. All right, wait, I need to text him back. Fortunately, I have a uh, monster energy. It's the, still the same one I mentioned in the episode prior. I think I'll put glass on top of this. Yeah. I need to finish the frame, man. I can't be worrying about detailing right now. I need more logs. Damn. <laughs> It's 
probably cold as hell outside. There's still a bunch of snow on the ground. I need to bundle up. Like, bundle bundle, man. Damn, that reminds me. Why the hell did Minecraft never add bundles? Should done pissed me off. <laughs> I'm mad now. Even like versions like this have a problem with inventory space and they haven't done anything for over 10 years. And then the, f the time they finally like have an idea that's not garbage, they're like, oh, well, um, actually we can't, uh, I don't know. Wasn't it balancing issues? We can't find a way to balance this or some, some bullshit. I don't know. Man. Oh. Yeah, I gotta collect a lot more wood for this. Damn, man, so much damage. Holy, oh my god. All right, I'm retreating. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, my armor is almost broken. Maybe we need to reinvest in that, uh, that, uh, iron armor. Yeah, I'm liking this house a little bit better without all the, the nonsense. I need to put fence here. What am I doing? All right. Nice. Mm, man, gotta wait for this to cook before I even step foot outside. Well, I stepped foot outside. <laughs> cool. And 
Look at this beautiful love garden. Thank you again to the three people that got submitted. Your support is greatly appreciated. And everyone else that hasn't and has been supportive, your, all, your support is also greatly appreciated. Love you guys. Seriously. These, these uh, videos have given me a lot of fulfillment. A, a lot of fulfillment, man. I think I should just like make cobblestone. All the stairs that I can. We'll start off with that for now. The windows will come later. Worry not, worry not. And do something a little different. See that creeper. Oops. Oh, wait. No. This roof is going to be kind of complex to do. Damn, really? And this guy naturally pathfinds towards me. do this I need to finish this part first and then worry about the rest there's one thing I've always loved doing is it's roof building I don't know why building roofs 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 in this game is so fun You guys, uh, saying roof this much reminds me of that video. You guys ever see that video of the, the, the dog named Rufus and the guy's just like, he, he's a fellow yapper. He's yapping about whatever. He's like, Rufus, Rufus, are you listening? That video is really funny. If you guys don't know what that video is, ouch, for one. But, uh, go look it up. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a very funny video. What does that look like if I do that? Looks very heavy. It's just like your mother. I'm sorry. That was mean. I unfortunately think this is all that I have time for. Um, thank you all very much for watching this video. It is greatly appreciated as always. Stick around for the next video. It should definitely be out within a day or so. Um, take care. Thank you guys very much for watching. Vitaminus, I'm sorry this couldn't be done in this episode, but at least we got a start on it, and I took a whole mountain down for you, so I hope you're happy. But thank you guys for watching, and take care.